Good morning, Aquarius. Um, the energy this week has been very, very overwhelming for me to the point where I've had a migraine for the past three days. Um, I'm really quite struggling. <laughs> so I don't know why the, the energy feels like very strong um, and powerful, <laughs> but, um, but it, it's it's a lot. It's a lot for me to handle. So uh, bear with me a little bit. I'm feeling quite worn out at this point. Um, it's been since Sagittarius. It's just been overwhelming and I always kind of find as well like um there's always a bit of a spillage between especially Capricorn um Aquarius and Pisces so I don't know if I could have a lot of people with a lot of placements in those signs or a lot of people on the cusp it's funny as well it doesn't tend to spill into um Aries it, it's those last three signs I get a lot of um energy into playing so there's a lot of Pisces a little bit of Capricorn in here as well today um a lot of Pisces, the energy is very, very emotional. It's very watery. Uh, I've already been crying. <laughs> Expect possibly more tears um, in this reading. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if, if somebody has strong Capricorn or Pisces placements or um, uh, I'm not. Sh I'm getting strong um, Aquarius moon energy because of this wateriness. It could be strong Aquarius moon, um, uh, Pisces um maybe Pisces rising or Pisces Venus, um, very emotional, um, so bear with me, <laughs> bear with me, oh, I can hear children outside, can you hear them? Oh. Um, right, okay, um, I haven't got a lot through intuitively, basically I've been kind of shutting down a little bit because I've, I've been trying to get out the energy, um, I can't, um, but yeah um uh, you the first song that came through before i kind of <laughs> went into brain lockdown was um uh, religion by lana del rey um i've not drawn very much from that it just came through um i visually saw uh two deer uh now they look like reindeer to me because they were the kind with the spotty back somebody else also had reindeer it could have actually been sagittarius um, yeah, it was Sagittarius. So I don't know, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius placement as well. Um, so I saw two deer next to each other, um, probably reindeer. I got the impression that one was female and one was male. I was very drawn to the male one because it had like huge, huge antlers. Now it's interesting because uh, for Sagittarius, um, I think if it was them, it may not have been actually, it may, have been, it may have been as far back as Scorpio. I keep getting deer stuff. I mean, we're going into Christmas, so people are starting to put, yeah, no, sorry, it was Scorpio who had the young deer. Um, so um, I don't know if it's because we're going into Christmas, you know, people are seeing them, so then I'm therefore seeing them. Uh, but yeah, this this um, male deer that I saw uh, had massive, like huge antlers. Uh, so this to me represents um, probably Emperor, Empress energy, um, a um, somebody who's really coming into the power. So that's quite exciting. Um, I saw a man's handwriting. Um, they were right-handed. Um, they had, um, what have I got here? Um, it's the, like, they had some kind of like notebook or something open in front of them. They had, um, pen um it could have been a white quill i feel like it was a white pen or a white quill um and they kind of like were writing and they paused and then they continued writing um so yeah um definitely right-handed though um your two songs that uh, right this was really strange actually your two songs that came through on spotify um as i was uh, drawing uh shuffling the cards and getting them ready for the reading uh were um before I tell you what they were, um, it's not so much the songs themselves that are important, but it's what happened. Um, so I've been listening to Spotify. I'd gone for a walk. I'd listened to about maybe 10 songs while I was walking. Um, came in, set up, um, re brought Spotify back up. Um, Randomised the next song for, for you, Aquarius. Excuse me, sorry. Um, and it got about 11 seconds in, roughly, the first song. And then it just stopped and it wouldn't play anymore. So I tried um, going off my Wi-Fi onto my 4G wouldn't play tried to turn it on and off again you know <laughs> like the it crowd um just wouldn't play it was stuck on um rough it was roughly i didn't see the first one it was roughly around 11 seconds um so i ended up watching it on spot uh, on youtube um and i feel like they wanted me to watch the video 
Uh, I feel like they were like, no, we're not letting you play because we really specifically want you to watch the video. So I'll come to that in a second. The second song, um, it did it again. Played for exactly 11 seconds this time because I noticed it because it did it, you know, I was particularly paying attention. Um, exactly 11 seconds, got stuck wouldn't play anymore so I, I looked up both the videos to these i don't know if they really wanted to convey messages through the video so i strongly recommend you go and watch the videos as well uh, but it was valerie by the zootons now it's interesting because i've been getting amy winehouse through in a couple of readings recently uh, maybe somebody who's overdoing it a little bit um with either drink or um some some other um substance that they're using to kind of numb uh, or deal with uh, being over emotional um but this was the zootons version um and then the next song was american team by khalid now in the valerie song um they are in in jail uh so this may just represent um you know people who are experiencing lockdown um maybe working from home feeling like they can't go anywhere uh, you know people who are perhaps um immune compromised who can't um, go out as much so a lot of people right now feeling stuck in the house feeling a bit like they're in jail in the house right it could just be that but I am picking through this this theme again I've got a lot of spillover of the last few readings of somebody potentially facing jail time or having served jail time um, I've also been getting this thief energy through which is interesting because in American teen it actually looks like the shoplifting um, so I don't know if they are or not or they're just running around a supermarket I didn't actually pay as much attention as I should have got done but I feel like they were trying to give me um shoplifting um and um or somebody who's been accused of being a thief ha keeps coming through very very strongly uh, maybe facing jail time um it could be this is something you dealt with in the past it could be somebody around you is dealing with this um i'm not sure um there's this it's probably just one person um coming to my readings it's probably not every single aquarius out there um it doesn't feel like something Aquarius would necessarily do because I think Aquarius you're a very very um very thoughtful sign you're very good at putting yourself in other people's shoes you're very um uh what's the word I'm trying to think of they're giving me all the wrong words <laughs> they gave me emotive and cathartic I don't know why not the word remotely that I was looking for um you, but you are very sensitive to other people. And then I don't think, especially if it was a small business, I couldn't see particularly Aquarius is going in and robbing from small big businesses, potentially because you can be quite um, rebellious against um, uh, the powers that be, authority, structures, rules, establishment. You can have this kind of um, need to kind of right wrongs and make things fair. So in that case, I could see potentially especially when you were younger, perhaps a teenager, but it's American teen, uh, perhaps feeling like fight the power. Um, you know, I'm not going to give money to some big corporation. I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, just take what I need because I believe in an egalitarian society, something like this. It's very Aquarian energy. So you could have got into trouble in the past um, in that regard. Um, tired of hanging around they say in valerie um now your card aquarius is the hangman card so uh hangman card is very much about uh, being a bit tied up having to be quite patient in a situation uh but also having a look at things from a different perspective and putting yourself in other people's shoes perhaps you're a little bit tired of doing that perhaps you're ready to move and take action now um the image on the album cover was a pinball machine now i don't know if you have a pinball machine or you've been playing pinball or um you've been feeling like a pinball perhaps a bit battered around the place um look across the water they say um I, sometimes I go out and I look across the water and I kind of wonder what you're doing so you may have a connection perhaps an old friend somebody maybe you've lost touch with somebody maybe who you have a romantic interest with um there's somebody I think that you're thinking about and also fantasizing a little again this strong Pisces energy coming into your reading today uh Pisces can be very very uh romantic in the old sense of the word where they can live in their own head a little bit, be a bit of a fantasist, but it's kind of like their superpower because it enables them to um, picture a new life for themselves and to go out and get it. Uh, it's kind of that what-if energy, the ability to dream. Again, your card, um, your other card in the tarot is the star card, which is all about dreams and wishes. So there may be a sense of you doing this, perhaps fantasizing about what somebody is doing. Uh, perhaps you're across water from them. Um, what else? Um... The devil card came out as I was uh, shuffling and listening to this song. Now, again, the devil card can mean um, 
it, Capricorn energy again is coming through into this reading um, but it can also mean um, feeling very chained to something uh, feeling um, trapped tied down um, obsessive sometimes but it can be feeling very very controlled I feel like perhaps you're feeling like you've got rules um, it's almost like you feel like you're in jail even if you're not you feel like the rules uh, the powers that be um, are kind of being imprisoning you in some way is is the main energy that's coming through because it also um I, sh I saw the world card twice now the world card is about um closing out some kind of major cycle in your life um and um moving on to something brand new uh so it's like a big life change you may want to literally travel you may want to move location to a different part of the world you may be thinking about my heart just went so i don't know if that was uh, spot on for somebody um you may, it's also about uh, public recognition, the World Wide Web. You may be connecting with somebody um, on the internet, somebody who's at a distance from you. Um, there is this feeling of um, looking across the water, either hypothetically or literally, and wanting to move um, with that world card there. Um, in my head, I make a picture, yeah, that Pisces energy. Uh, now, the American Teen Song... Uh, as I was listening to this from my tea leaf cards, um, the romance celebration party card came out. So I feel like somebody just really, really wants to um, get back together with friends, have a good time, uh, let off a little bit of steam. Um, really, I think it really is coming through is just wanting to get out of lockdown. Um, and I know that sounds like a bit of a cop out for a tarot card reader to say that because it's obvious, right? But it's also what people are experiencing. So, of course, that's going to come through. Um wake me up in the spring it's like uh wake me up when i can go back out again wake me up when lockdown lifts <laughs> like i'm just gonna sleep until i can like until life gets back to normal uh we don't always say what we mean that's interesting now i have been getting this sense of deception coming through um I can't quite pick up on what it is. Um, it does feel connected to your signs somehow, whether it's somebody around you being deceptive or you having some kind of self-deception. Again, this kind of Pisces fantasist energy is coming in. So whether it's kind of like um, um, deceiving yourself that something is possible when it's not or deceiving yourself that something's not possible when it is. Um, there's some kind of deceptiveness. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, somebody intentionally being deceptive, though. Um, not quite sure uh right okay i am going to um tune in very carefully to the en energies today oh i need to randomize a song for you but i don't have my tablet well i'm not organized am i i'm not prepared one second they've just clarified something for me uh they carried on playing um that line from the khalid song we don't always say what we mean um and um what they actually mean is that somebody isn't speaking the truth. Um, somebody's not revealing the feelings in a situation. Uh, so it's like somebody may care for someone a lot more than they're actually saying. Um, yeah, so the deception is perhaps that, you know, oh, we're just friends when actually it's probably more than that, I think, is something like what's coming through there. Uh, I'm just loading up Spotify on my tablet. Um, I only use this... Um, to randomize the songs now i haven't actually looked um i'm randomizing from my, Dis my discover weekly uh so it's not my playlist uh this is the song that came through for capricorn yesterday um so it's not my playlist i haven't actually looked at what's on my discover weekly it randomizes every monday so this is going to be a complete surprise to me i like that song yesterday they discover weekly is good it doesn't normally suggest songs that i like um so it's randomized i don't know what it's going to be um Let's see, what's it going to be for you, Aquarius? Yeah, somebody wearing masks, look. Um, somebody wearing masks in a situation. Um, people not saying what they mean. You can see that they're all quite tight-lipped there as well. Um, just from the image, that's what I'm getting. There may be six people involved. Um, eyes shut, lips sealed. There is one person talking there. This person has his lips open. All the others have their eyes shut and their lips sealed. I mean, of course they do, right, with those masks, but... Um, oh, hello. <laughs> My tablet's spinning around there. Uh, I'm just trying to get it back up so I can give you the name of the song. Sister Surround. Somebody may have a lot of sisters or be dealing with some sisters. Um, the soundtrack of our lives. Okay, I'm going to, as I tune into the energies, I'm also going to listen to this song and find out what it's all about. Um, so, um, doesn't ring any bells to me at the moment. Maybe it will when I play it. 
uh, right, okay, I'll be back with you in a moment. You can go and look up that song as well if you want to while I pause. Um, and then I'll be back with you to pull some cards. I'll see you in a minute, Aquarius. Okay, I'm crying already as I'm tuning into the energies. Um, so, absolutely dreading Pisces' is reading tomorrow. If this is anything like <laughs> to go by, because I do feel like there are energies in this reading. Um, right. Uh, I'm asking for the best possible message to come through that's going to do the most good, please, for Aquarius. Let's go. What energy do we have here in this reading? Okay. Uh, I can see the cobra. It's hard to sort of show you. I can see the cobra there uh, and the rabbit and the phoenix. Um, so uh, on the bottom is the lizard, but they're telling me to shuffle. Two, three. The owl. Okay. As seek uh seeking knowledge here there's a need to kind of watch um perhaps not take action but gain some more information in, in a situation uh it was showing with that snake uh with the cobra which is um quite an aggressive fixed um almost obsessive or quite sexually obsessive energy um and the phoenix uh, excuse me sorry i'm just um still still sniffling a little bit um the phoenix which is um about rebirth, uh, um, burning away the old so that something new can be reborn. Um, if you are on some kind of, um, heading towards some kind of phoenix moment where you have to kind of shed an old skin uh, so that you can be um, almost like um, fresh for uh, a new journey to come into some kind of like bigger energy some bigger power uh you will feel quite frightened this rabbit card has been all over the readings for the past week or so um yeah so you may be feeling um quite scared about something you know the heat is at this rabbit's back again uh, the heat could indicate the police um if someone is dealing with um, a law situation um definitely trying to seek um more knowledge uh this kind of like both these animals are kind of watching. Uh, the the rabbit's ears are up. It's listening. It's paying attention. Um, the owl is almost like the hierophant card to me. It can be somebody that um, you can seek wisdom from. But again, I, I got this. I think it was yesterday in Capricorn's reading. There's this sense of some people not talking. You know that that owl's beak is very very small. Um, it's got the big eyes. It's there's this really kind of like. Um, I think, I can't remember which sign it came through for, but somebody got, uh, don't move and nobody gets hurt. Um, and it's that kind of like, right, everybody stop, stop what you're doing. They're, they're showing me uh, musical statues, uh, children playing musical statues where you stop the music and the children have to pause and stand still. Uh, so there's a sense of this kind of like, like everybody stop. Okay, they're not watching, let's keep going. Uh, so I don't know what this is for you. Um, it feels like a game. Um, that's all I'm getting from that. Uh, sorry that I'm not perhaps getting as much through intuitively today as I normally would because, um, as I say, it's it's giving me migraines because it's, it's so much. So I have had to kind of take a little bit of a step back. Um, Let's keep going. So tell me something else, please. Teardrops, uh, great personal sorrow. Well, that is not what we want to hear, is it, Aquarius? But as I say, I've been very emotional um, as I've been tuning into your energy today. Um, literally crying there as I was as I was getting ready to do, to do the cards. So uh, I don't know what that is for you. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. So opportunity or windfall and great personal sorrow. So we will pull more cards in a moment to find out more about this let me just see if i do get anything through intuitively now it's interesting that the the rabbit is going to be looking at that carrot in a minute when i move the cards up um rabbits do go for something uh they're giving me peter rabbit now i think peter rabbit um peter rabbit's father um was killed by the farmer or the gardener and uh, he wanted the rat he wanted the carrot um, he went into the garden and Peter Rabbit's father was, 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 uh, caught and killed. Um, so somebody could have gone for something and got caught 
or somebody may have seen an opportunity, uh, especially if there was money involved, it says windfall, um, but there's a sense of danger with it, um, of it not working out, um, of, it, of it leading to sorrow. So um, just be a little bit extra cautious, you know, do make sure you're getting full information. Um, it's like, I don't know, we'll pull more cards. I don't want to say anything if it's not going to be correct. Um, that heart is on the underlying. Love, deep affection and caring. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> um, you know, that's what you want, especially if you're going through something upsetting a uh, dark woman dealings with a relationship or a woman with dark complexion or hair so perhaps somebody is in love with um, a woman with a dark complexion um, it doesn't have to be uh, romantic um, you know it could be a mother it could be um, um, a, a very close friend um, but there is a connection here it's a heartfelt connection with a woman uh, with dark complexion or hair uh, uh, when it talks about uh, dark and fair in this deck, uh, sometimes it means to me um, uh, it can be emotionally, uh, so emotionally dark, somebody who's, uh, you know, this could be somebody that you are supporting uh, or it could be, you know, you, um, but this person could um, be feeling very dark, they could be um, struggling emotionally to deal with something, uh, some sort of loss or heartbreak perhaps. Um, and you're playing a supportive role to this person. Um, it could be you and somebody, perhaps you have a need for somebody to do this with you. Uh, interesting, that song that came through that, what was it, Sister Something, um, Take Care of Me. There was a line that said, take care of me in that song. Uh, so it may be, um, again, I'm getting sister through. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you know, not all of us have brothers and sisters. Uh, but it could be like the need for that kind of, um, that kind of, uh, role in your life so even if you don't have siblings you you could be feeling the need for somebody um to fill that that character to fill that role uh somebody who's like by, by your side they're giving me um um oh, i can't quite get it i do know the song that they're trying to give me i can't quite get it i will always be your soldier um, i'm not sure about the singer's name but i'll put all the songs in the description box down below for you um i will always be your soldier. Um, I'll be marching by your side. Um, so yeah, there may be a need for for somebody uh, to feel like they are they've got your back. Um, it's you know you may need someone who feels like it could be a very very close friend um, that needs to have somebody who is like um, unconditionally going to be there for you um, when things are difficult. Um, tulip great passion okay so most of you is going to be some kind of um, passionate relationship again doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest it is coming through that way um oh sorry this i'm just getting tulips um uh, the netherlands um somebody could be from that area um what well, sorry there's going on about the tulip <laughs> my hand's gone cold They're telling me field, field of tulips, field of tulips. I don't know what that means. Um, I, I don't know if it's from a song or a movie or like perhaps you've spent, my hands got so cold. Uh, it's like somebody's really like here going like, no, I want you to get this. Um, I'm just getting field of tulips and they're showing me a field, field of tulips. Um, um, walking through a field of tulips. I, I don't know if that's a song. Um, <laughs> There could be whatever this is, there's a lot of passion for it. Um, again, no matter what that relationship is, you can have a lot of passion for friendships. You can have a lot of passion for um, family relations. Um, another card, please. Thank you. Lovely. Well-behaved cards. Oh, and then another one falls off. September. Somebody could have a September birthday. Uh, September would be Virgo Libra. Um, they just said September the 1st for somebody. Um, I don't know if that means uh, something may have happened on September the 1st. Um, 
somebody's birthday maybe September the 1st that would be Virgo um wake me up when se September ends again you've got that song that's um wake me up in the spring and now you've got wake me up when September ends so maybe because we've had kind of like two bouts of Covid maybe you thought it'd be over by September and now you're like okay we're still in it um just writing that down wake me up when September ends Okay, hopefully I'll be able to read my own writing. Um, reconciliation, pineapple. Rooster. An arrogant, boastful person person you should not cross. Okay, so perhaps you've fallen out with somebody. Perhaps you fell out with somebody in September. Um, there is an opportunity for a, a, rec a reconciliation here uh, with this person. Um, but it's warning you don't, don't cross them. Um, they, may be, they may be quite arrogant. Uh, boastful uh the cockerel crows uh somebody may be um this may be the sort of person who um if you annoyed them they perhaps uh spill all, all your secrets i'm noticing um a bit of a weird thing to notice and i'm not sure why uh but the shape here of the leaves on the pineapple and the shape here of the cockerel's tail um you may that shape um may be significant for you somehow um Perhaps somebody has one of those plants, you know, the spider plants. It kind of looks a bit like one of those to me. Um, but yeah, somebody, I feel like this is giving me kind of almost like double crossing energy. Like somebody you thought was your friend, feeling quite stabbed in the back. Perhaps with this person, um, you know, you confided in them once, but they are um, spilling all your secrets. They're giving me pineapple pizza. Uh, some people like pineapple on pizza, some people don't. It's quite controversial. Perhaps you've had an argument about this with this person. Uh, I like pineapple on pizza, but not ham because I'm vegetarian. Um, it's also kind of looking like a pine cone. That may be relevant to somebody. Um, oops. Um, you just told me Virgo again could be a Virgo. For some of you, it doesn't have to be. I'm noticing the colour as well. They may have hair colour like this. This kind of like um, in between your brownie blonde colour. <laughs> I'm not saying the, the, this, but um, if you are a simmer, there's a very famous sim song um, with pineapple. <laughs> People like to put pineapple in the lyrics. Um, it's a bit rude, so I'm not going to say it. But <laughs> if you hear from there, uh, because you know me from The Sims, then you'll you'll know that reference. Um, okay. No, it's just playing in my head now. <laughs> like that needs to go. Uh, right, carrot and teardrops. So this Peter Rabbit energy. What's this Peter Rabbit business about? Which way? That way, thank you. Oh, 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 hello. Um, well, that is, uh, that's sexy times right there. This is uh, the, uh, to me, it's almost like the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Um, it's um, uh, people who are very passionate, a passionate relationship. It can be an affair. Um, it can be um, a, a two people who, um, and she's holding a tulip as well, look. Yeah, okay, so um, this is, uh, there's uh, this couple in this in this specific deck, it's a Lenormand deck. Um, the person who created this deck, uh, I think it's Kira Marchetti, um, actually added, um, it's called the man and the woman. He actually added um, an extra man and woman to the original Lenormand um, system. Um, so this to me is the sexy man, man and sexy lady uh, and there's also a romantic man and a romantic lady. So uh, the other two uh, represent cups energy to me which is all about emotion. Uh, this is a partnership um, on a much more passionate, um, sexual, um, exciting, um, uh, impulsive, uh, spontaneous um, very sexual energy. So for some of you there's definitely this relationship here you could have been consummated could have not been um but it's two people who are uh, very expressive um really uh a lot of sexual energy there um you know you've got this great passion here this woman is holding a rose uh you've got the heart card here so i'm surprised that this hasn't come out here uh it's clearly um they're giving me heartbreaker by mariah carey heartbreaker you got the best of me but i just keep 
on coming back incessantly. Well, why did you have to run your game on me? I should have known right from the start. You go and break my heart. So yeah, it's temptation. Temptation. Uh, it's going to get you in trouble. A uh, dog far away. Uh, a distant friend is thinking of you. Uh, somebody could have tried to warn you about this. Uh, dissatisfaction with life could be driving this as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, sexy lady, you're going to lose the sexy man for a little while. Uh, look underneath as well, uh, lilies. Uh, so, I mean, oop. <laughs> you may have fallen out with this person. That's a fallout when that happens. Um, yeah, again, temptation. I'm seeing the snake card. Um, this person may have turned out to be a bit of a snake. Um, right, okay. Heart, dark woman, tulip. Tell me about heart, dark woman and tulip, please. Uh, obstacles. There's obstacles to overcome here. Uh, it probably is showing us the same energy. Um, also to note, two and nine makes 11. Again, I was, it, the song paused on 11, so there could definitely be um, a very strong connection here with somebody. Ace of swords. Uh, somebody could have spoken a truth about this. Uh, here we have got obstacles, the mountain, a huge obstacle to overcome. Again, I'm sensing that perhaps you could be at a distance from this person. Uh, that could be what's upsetting you. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that some of you could have fallen out with this person. It led to disappointment. Some of you um, perhaps feel this very, very strong connection, but they're at a distance. You can't get to them. There's obstacles to overcome, uh, which is what's causing the upset. So take that as it resonates. Leave leave the version that doesn't. They gave me two versions. Uh, September pineapple and rooster, please. Oh, oh, engagement. <laughs> uh, the ring. Um, this is something of value. Um, it's um, uh, can mean, uh, it's literally called the ring, so it could be a telephone call. Um, it could be um, a gift, a, a gift of value. Uh, it can mean an engagement ring, quite literally. Engagement as well, it, to me, is um, like social media engagement. You may communicate with this person online. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's five stones on this ring on the side, which kind of gives me five of pentacles energy. I feel like somebody could have had some kind of possible loss, a uh, financial loss. Um, oh, I'm just noticing two and one make three. This person could be in a relationship with somebody else already. Um, two and five make seven. That is um, spiritual uh, journey, um, life lessons. Ace of pentacles. Yeah, ace of pentacles is some kind of like uh, idea or gift coming in. Um, we'll find out more about that. Somebody could have gifted someone a pineapple, which is a weird gift. Um, again, uh, it could be if somebody has that September birthday, somebody could have received some sort of gift uh, in September. The owls are back again on the bottom of the deck. Again, this need to um, get some kind of higher wisdom, higher knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Uh, it's really coming through to me as the owl from the labyrinth today. It could just be because I really like the labyrinth. Uh, it could be because somebody's kind of keeping an eye on you or you're keeping an eye on somebody else. Um, you know, maybe some, there's that kind of um, Jareth character. I always get his name wrong. Um, could be... Yeah, I just really feel like uh, there's this kind of like watching, learning energy coming through from the owls um, and also the rabbit, to be honest. Um, it's like a piece of rabbit learnt from the lessons. Uh, perhaps uh, he's a bit more crafty than his father was. He's a bit more um, quick thinking. Uh, he's kind of learnt that lesson from from the past um, in this situation. Um, you know, he is a thief as well. I guess I'm getting all this crossover energy with Capricorn. Um, okay. Uh, tell me more about why uh, the sexy lady is here with teardrops and carrot. Why is the sexy lady here, please, with teardrops and carrot? She's not the sexy lady. That's uh, She's the romantic lady. Okay, sorry, that changes things. Uh, lover's card in the underlying. What's this card? Uh, unexpected income in reverse. Uh, okay, so that does change things, actually. The masculine energy is coming from a very sexual place. The female energy is coming from a place of love. There may be a difference in expectations here. Um, somebody may have been wanting uh, an emotional investment. There we go, there's the investment. Somebody may have been wanting an emotional investment while the other person was wanting... Um, 
you know a good time so do be uh, careful because I feel like there's conflicting um, expectations about a relationship here which may be actually the source of this um, great personal sorrow I don't know why I saw her as the sexy lady I think maybe there may have been some confusion perhaps sorry I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> oh excuse me sorry um I'm gonna... <laughs> is that another one coming um there may have been some confusion about the expectations of this woman unexpected income uh, in reverse so somebody may have been expecting um you know a, a long-term commitment here with this engagement ring somebody may have been thinking um you know i want um i want this to go somewhere where the other person could have been um actually coming from a place of um i just want to have a good time um, and there was a conflict there so um perhaps somebody misunderstood the female's intentions here perhaps they thought that she was uh, coming in for a good time but actually she's coming in from a place of love um, and long term so um there could yeah could definitely been um a conflict here a miscommunication a misunderstanding about specifically the female's intentions uh, or the person who identifies as the feminine energy again uh, uh, gender is very very fluid in tarot so just be aware that you can um, play with those kind of roles a little bit um, if I say female um, and you identify as masculine or uh, gender neutral you, you know just take it as it resonates about the way that I'm describing this person in the situation rather than the gender on the card, uh, just to kind of make that clear. But for those of you who are in a heterosexual um, relationship here, for where this is a man and woman situation, uh, you know, you can clearly see the woman here with the tulip. Um, the woman is coming through as this misunderstood energy. Um, unexpected income, yeah. I think this person was expecting um, a commitment, um, but it, it didn't come because it's in the reverse. From this... Um, from this um, union. Um, okay, so tell me about the mountain then. What is the mountain? Why is the mountain here with the dark woman, the heart and the tulip? Adjudication. Uh, so um, what's, um, what's causing the problem here is um, it could be some kind of um, hold up because again of this kind of like court situation. Uh, there could be some kind of formal situation here where somebody has to um, perhaps close something out or um, you know it almost could be divorce cuts right perhaps if somebody is in a relationship already they have to um, wind up that first relationship in order to move to a second relationship uh, where that you know speaks to them on an emotional level it could be that they this person um, is afraid of the judgment of others uh, again we've got three in three uh, so this is strongly coming through as um, a third party uh, you know somebody could already have um, a partner here um adjudication yeah uh, the the obstacle is overcoming this this uh, judgment it could be a judgment call uh, the fear of judgment from others um again aquarius you are a sign that likes to challenge so societal expectations you don't really like to follow the rules uh, you kind of like to forge your own path you've got um your own unique sense of what is right and wrong um so um just because something is wrong in society's eyes you may see a little bit more gray area in that um for example if somebody was in um if just as kind of a scenario i'm just showing you this again you forging a unique pathway um now i'm going to take my own judgment out of this i have my own feelings on this but uh, just kind of move that aside for a second a scenario just to help you understand the 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 energy that i'm picking up on here it's like um say um there were two young teenagers um and they uh were fooling around and um you know unexpectedly um what you know got pregnant uh it's kind of like well you need to put a ring on it now you need to uh you need to be a solid family structure um to raise these children uh you can't mess around you need to get married you need to uh, be a proper fami family unit because that's the expectations um of society it's the expectations of the people around you uh, perhaps you were like well yeah i really enjoy like this person i enjoy this person i like this person but i don't know if, if we're a perfect match i don't know if i want to spend my life with this person so then you ended up in a committed relationship where perhaps you you don't actually have that love and sexual connection uh, so um, then there could be an understanding between you both where it's like well you know on the surface we're going to present as um, you know what society expects us to present of but we're also going to follow our heart and make connections um, that speak to us on a more um, emotive and passionate level and if that is um, you know an agreement between the two people and it's an agreement with the people that they engage with then that is absolutely fine in my opinion <laughs> um no ne not necessarily in society's opinion um but as long as i think everybody is consenting everybody knows the rules then that's um 
that's for those people to decide. Uh, so it's this kind of um, to this Aquarius energy, which could be you. Uh, but it's this this storyline that I'm kind of picking up on. Perhaps you feel differently. Uh, it's um, they are they can see those black and white areas. They can see the the grey areas in between. They can see how uh, they can make up their own decisions about what's right and what's wrong. Um, where perhaps there's a conflict between the expectations of society around them. Um, something like this um, perhaps is coming through for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be that, but I feel like, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like there is a pathway here opening up um, where perhaps you didn't see a pathway before. There could actually be a route uh, that you could follow. There's going to be a change with these butterflies on this pathway card. Just kind of show you a little bit closer. Um, you can see the light coming. It's like the, the light at the end of the, the tunnel. But yeah, there's concern here. Concern, I think, about the judgment of people around you. Again, three and three and three and four. Uh, yeah lots of threes here um definitely uh, more people involved than would traditionally be in a, a traditional relationship um september pineapple rooster and the ring <laughs> oh that came out very quickly wealthy man okay well you know maybe somebody is giving you um a very very um expensive gift um perhaps you're the wealthy man um normally um marriage okay yep yeah, somebody could be proposing uh, it, it can't tell me more clearly than that can it um somebody could have proposed in september you could be married to somebody um with a september birthday um pineapple rooster don't try and cross this arrogant person if this wealthy man is not you uh don't um it's warning you don't cross this person um it's almost giving me like um titanic here now um so it's almost giving me like um you know rose was married to it's funny as i was thinking about watching titanic um rose was married um or engaged to uh cal i think his name was um he could give give her these very very expensive gifts he gave her that necklace right uh but he was very arrogant and boastful he had a lot of pride um she w followed her heart towards leonardo dicaprio who uh was from a less wealthy background but it really annoyed um the the cal character um and he was quite vengeful so that's the kind of storyline that's coming through here um it could be that a wealthy man is about to propose to you uh, again there's another another three there though uh 13 here one and three make four which is about solid foundations so i think if somebody um if somebody didn't want to commit before, uh, it's showing now as though they are ready to make a commitment. They're ready to, um, they're ready to put a ring on it. <laughs> um, well, there you go, Aquarius. Um, it could also be saying, Aquarius, um, decide now what you want from a relationship. Um, do you want to uh, just have that sexual? Um, uh, level or do you want to have something deeper and more meaningful uh, it may be saying you need to make up your mind what you want before you enter into a relationship um, uh, and to make your feelings clear to the other person um, okay carrot teardrops romantic woman un unexpected income why is unexpected income in reverse here okay uh, unexpected income could definitely be an engagement ring with this Hierophant card showing up. It's like, oh my goodness, I didn't know you were going like, to. I didn't know you were going to do that. I didn't know you were going to propose. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles, though, is somebody who's very, very good on their own. They, this is somebody who is independent or has the ability to be independent. And notice what she's holding in her hands. There's a reason I was drawn to use this deck today. <laughs> um, you know, I, there's not carrots on every card. It's it's a huge coincidence that the rabbit came out with the carrot. It's not a coincidence. No such thing as coincidence. Uh, it's a huge um, independent indicator that there's something to tarot i feel that the rabbit came out with the carrot and this person has carrots in her hand perhaps you are a gardener perhaps you grow your own carrots no they're giving me something they're giving me something i watched um i've been going through a, a, a hugh grant movie binge um and i watched um notting hill last night and one of the characters was saying oh i'm a fruitarian and they were like what's a fruitarian and she said oh i only eat things i th you know i think plants have feelings and i only eat things that fall from the bushes because um because um they, they're already dead when they fall from the plant so i just gather things from like <laughs> this kind of thing um so um and, and she was like, those carrots have been murdered. Um, so I don't know why they're giving me that, um, but they are. So, uh, yeah, I, I, perhaps, yeah. Um, 
I'm not quite sure why that came through, but perhaps that means something to you. Perhaps you've also been watching Notting Hill. Um, perhaps you live in Notting Hill, like well done you. Um, that's quite a posh end of London, isn't it? Um, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be a gardener. But the meaning of the Nine of Pentacles card is like uh, somebody who's really good where they are. Um, it can be somebody who's independent, somebody who's not attached, uh, somebody who has the ability to stand on their own two feet, to make their own money, to um, have everything that they need on a tangible level by themselves. It's also a card about um, kind of like uh, wishes manifesting, uh, uh, things coming into fruition um on a tangible level uh, so there is something about here like wealth perhaps uh, something's been growing that you weren't expecting uh, but it's in the reverse so it's like it's Perhaps, perhaps there is an expectation here of, of an income. Uh, perhaps somebody is expecting a proposal. Um, that somebody is expecting these seeds to grow into something uh, fruitful. Um, she's just noticing a little bird on her head as well for some reason there. Um, that could mean something to you. Um, I was picking up a vineyard, a vineyard uh, for somebody at one point, but I th thought maybe perhaps somebody um, has a family vineyard or something, or they... Uh, they make their own wine um the hierophant here though uh, nine of pentacles with the hierophant it's uh I, th I think somebody is working out what they want here this is almost like a card about being unattached being good on your own the hierophant is a card about um um being part of something greater than yourself being um married um being um in partnership with somebody it's also a card about seeking higher knowledge seeking higher wisdom a card about higher education somebody could have gone back to higher education or be learning something you've got lots of owls up here again indicating spiritual knowledge so uh, somebody may be um following um like some sort of spiritual guidance in this situation um again there's a feeling a bit of a conflict though between whether somebody wants to be single or attached um can you tell me please about the mountains and judication? Heart, dark one, tulip, the fool. Uh, somebody, I think, is getting ready to take a leap of faith here. Uh, this is Aries energy. It's just to kind of say this is uh, Taurus energy. It also, again, gives me, it's not traditionally Capricorn, but it does give me Capricorn energy. Uh, the fool is um, Aries. So, um, yeah, there could be could be somebody here ready to take a leap of faith uh, ready to do something quite foolish uh, really feeling like they want to be free uh, not chained to anything they just kind of want to uh, leave a situation behind with nothing but the clothes on the back um, and follow their um, follow their sort of intuition in a situation follow their their higher wisdom and um, follow that spiritual um, knowledge that they have um, to to protect them um, you can see here that uh, this person is approaching a fall uh, the dog is trying to warn them so do listen to um anyone any friends that are kind of loyal um that may uh, be trying to warn you of any any uh, potential falls that you may take um you may be too busy looking up at the sky about all your dreams and wishes or, or that's a weird noise um and not actually be paying attention to where you're going so do watch out this person's also listening to music as well um this is almost like me this morning i was like on my, on my little walk listening to my listening to my songs <laughs> um so uh, again don't get too wrapped up in something um and not pay attention to where you're heading uh, it's kind of the message with the full card there uh, it is in the upright though so it's positive it's it comes with the message of um take that leap of faith because the universe will catch you if you fall there's people around you who can who can help you out um um the fool also yeah there's that sense of like walking away from um money walking away from tangible things because you've got this kind of spiritual side to you um tell me about the wealthy man and the ring please wow okay <laughs> Uh, the Page of Swords here. So again, another card about collecting information, gathering information. The Page of Swords is a spy card for me, a recon card. Uh, it can sometimes mean somebody who's uh, stalking social media, <laughs> so stalking so someone's social media pro profile. Um, not necessarily in, not, in, in too much of an obsessive way. I'm not seeing cards here at the moment that tell me obs obsession um it's more like uh, just checking in keeping an eye on somebody uh you know maybe like looking to see if somebody is in a relationship or not um uh, the page of swords can bring in news uh, they can bring in communication they can deliver information uh could be delivering information about could be uh, via a phone call uh via social media uh, about a wealthy man uh, again just be wary that this person has a lot of pride 
um, there's secrets here just to kind of show you the cards a uh, couple of cards have flipped here uh, and they're hiding in the deck now that tells me that somebody is being quite secretive um, it's interesting that there's this five of swords card which is one of the more difficult um, cards and I did say that I was picking up on some kind of deception um, uh, in your energy um, so I think feel like this is where the deception is then um, five of swords ten of pentacles um, The Five of Swords is a card about losing the battle but winning the war. Um, it's it's living to fight another day. So um, if there's been arguments, um, conflict, conflicts of opinion, uh, Swords are about um, communication and thoughts, uh, very, very logical energy. So there's been um, a, a kind of a fallout here. Uh, you can see these people are kind of like walking away from the situation. They've kind of dropped the swords like, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm, I'm just done. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm out. Uh, this person is like um, being more strategic. They're picking up the swords. Um, they're 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 going to uh, live to fight another day they kind of feel like possibly won some sort of battle again it could be some kind of legal battle here or some kind of battle over contracts or um, differences of opinion in a situation uh, again being very secretive about this but it's in regards to some kind of ten of pentacles situation ten of pentacles again is a card about um can mean marriage uh, it's um so we've got a card over here about being single, being good on your own, um, being financially stable and not codependent. This is a card about... Um, now, the Nine of Pentacles can lead to the Ten of Pentacles or, um, you know, the placement kind of matters here. Um, but this is telling me there could be conflicts, um, could have been conflicts, arguments within some kind of home, could be work. Uh, could, it's it's The Ten of Pentacles is um, kind of like... Um, a, a situation that's tangible, um, um, material, um, and with other people. Where this is independent, this is with other people. So yeah, conflicts here. People have fallen out um, in some kind of work or family or um, material situation. Um, again, you have this wealthy man who is arrogant. So um, something to be mindful of. Uh, but yeah, there's um, this isn't common knowledge I don't think I think this is hidden uh somebody's hiding I think that there's been conflicts in some sort of situation um and then somebody else is kind of like um gathering information or it could be the same person is gathering information because they're figuring out how to move in this situation page of cups here uh this can be somebody coming in with an apology um if Pisces energy again is uh, it's believing your dreams believing the impossible the, the possible can be possible nobody would believe that there could be a fish in the cup but there's a fish in the cup um she has got her hand behind her back on this card so do be aware that there can actually be ulterior motives if somebody approaches you with an apology they may have um the hands behind the back they may have um cards up the sleeve uh things may not be as they appear on the surface um That sick feelings coming back again. Um, felt very, very sick yesterday in Capricorn's reading. Um, it's just kind of coming back. So not quite sure what you're dealing with. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that kind of makes sense, but I'm not 100% sure on the situation. So it could be different for everybody. Um, take anything that resonates, leave anything that doesn't. Um, you know, it could be, I asked for the most important message to come through that's going to do the most good. So if you're good, if you're like, you're living your best life and don't have many worries then this probably isn't your reading uh somebody could be very you know really struggling here you've got that teardrops card uh some so somebody may need this reading more than you so uh take the bits that do resonate um anything that kind of doesn't just leave because somebody else may really need to hear that um don't force it to fit if it doesn't um okay oh, my headache's coming back as well feels sick i've got a headache I don't know what the energy is this week, but okay. Best advice, please, that you have for Aquarius. Ark of the Covenant and Archangel Gabriel. Okay, Archangel Gabriel is about communication. Uh, you know, he carries that trumpet. Um, the Ark of the Covenant very interesting now again i don't know if you're dealing with a capricorn but capricorn had number 11 as well look um you had capricorn yesterday had something to do with a box um and i'm feeling like this is the same box that was in capricorn's reading so again could be definitely dealing with a capricorn just noticing again this placement here um they have a very similar pose it could be that yeah this fool could be communicating somebody could communicate something unexpectedly unexpected income 
um, the Ark of the Covenant. Again, the, the Ark of the Covenant is, um, it contains something very, very precious. Um, can be information as well, right? Doesn't necessarily, um, you know, value is in the eye of the beholder. Um, one man, <laughs> they're telling me one man's trash is another man's treasure. So sorry, uh, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Uh, but what they're telling me is like, um, somebody may value knowledge more than they value uh, something made of gold. So um, yeah, worth is... Um, um, the divine physician there and it's, it's this is quite a spiritual deck um if you're not into that my video cut out because i've re reached the 40 minute mark again it's got over 40 minutes i've, I've already stopped and restarted the video because i try and avoid that cutting out but uh, the divine physician um yeah so there's something here that's really re very very healing as uh, somebody may literally have like a, um, a very healing energy about them uh, where they're able to um form connections with people that that are very nurturing and healing um where is my book for this um <laughs> just everything's falling over it's just the box for that deck um it, that's the modern witch tarot if anybody wanted it I, I really like it because it's um it does have this updated look to it you know like the fool has her headphones in um so um it's just a slightly more modern version of the traditional rider weight tarot if anyone was looking for something uh, it's nice and diverse as well the rider weight tarot is very um very white um but you can see there's um a bit of a range of uh complexion on these cards which is which is nice nice to see um so yeah i recommend that deck if you're looking for something a little little bit more modern uh the modern i'll just show you what it looks like there you go the modern witch tarot um i get all my decks from amazon so if you're looking for them that's where you can find them all um if they're in stock uh right archangel gabriel it's quite a thick deck though the, the cards are quite chunky so they can be a little bit hard to handle um okay uh, Gabriel is a divine messenger, messenger, the archangel of communication. He comes with his trumpet and scroll, as well as two gentle sparrows, uh, signifying powerful yet pe peaceful expression. I can't speak. <laughs> archangel Gabriel, help me speak. <laughs> words, and what are words? On his chest, he wears the crest of Mercury, the god of communication. This loving angel carries the sacred words of truth into the world and brings, brings them easily to you. When this card appears upright, it indicates a profound connection to, the, to this wonderful presence. Your power of expression is on the rise now. You will have an easier time communicating with others, expressing your feelings, and even working on projects involving communication, such as publishing, counselling, teaching, mediumship, journalism, marketing, radio, or television. <laughs> um, I know an Aquarius with a voice for radio. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, um, and a face for television. <laughs> uh, now is the time for any of these endeavours. No matter what you do, uh, remember the power of words. Call on Gabriel to inspire you and let yourself sing out. Um, uh, interesting, I'm noticing the counselling as well. Um, and you've got the divine physician. So yeah, you may be able to communicate things that are very healing to others at this time. Uh, so that's a really nice message actually, Aquarius. It really suits you as well, I think. Um, you know, you are an air sign, uh, not a water sign, <laughs> uh, despite that Pisces energy coming wriggling around in here, uh, like that fish in the cup. Um, you know, you are an air sign. Air signs are like the swords. They're all about communication, intellect, uh, logical thinking uh, and analysis. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, I really, really feel like you've got um, a strength in communication uh, that's definitely uh, coming through strongly for you at the moment. Uh, which is what that card told me. And that's not me using intuition. It's just literally like my knowledge of your star sign um, and that card. Right, uh, 11. Lots of 11s here. Uh, so, you know, you could be entering into a very, very important connection at the moment with somebody. Um, <laughs> as I started to read this, it starts with, starts with the stars are shining. And immediately I got, stars are shining bright tonight. They're uh, lining up the skies tonight. Oh, you, which I think is take that. And I'll look that up um, after I've read this card. Uh, the stars are shining on a serene desert night. Fires burn before a number of white tents. Inside one of the tents, they're telling me intense, <laughs> like the joke on intense. Um, sorry, silly guys again. Uh, just beyond the open, oh God, I'm so sorry. I think one of my lewd guides have come in. <laughs> like... Okay, um... 
Straight face. The stars are shining on a serene desert night. Fires burn before a number of white tents. Inside one of the tents, just beyond the open flaps, <laughs> rests the Ark of the Covenant. I'm sorry. Two men sit by a crackling fire nearby. I was, I was like, I'm not going to giggle when I get to front flaps. <laughs> open front flaps. <laughs> but I couldn't keep a straight face. At the... <laughs> At the most mundane level, this card can represent a beneficial legal contract or title transfer. Again, you've got that judgment card there. Um, it can also show successfully working with professionals such as brokers and lawyers. Um, more often, it, it indicates that you are living true to your own a karmic contract. Facing your lessons of growth, working towards greater discoveries and bringing your unique contribution to the world. Your karma does not rule you, you rule it. When the work becomes too great, taking a rest doesn't break your covenant, it supports it. You understand that phases of time and en you understand the phases of time and, en and energy and you work within those phases. Some of your karmic, karmic directives at this time may involve other people. Again, communication, right? Uh, if so, make sure there is no urgency, need or personal agenda in play. Don't let yourself get pulled into an emotional drama. Know that the things that require your attention now reflect a commitment that has far-reaching influence that may impact your present as well as your future lives. So continue to work towards your highest purpose, to uphold the sacred covenant you have to touch the world with your light. I'm going to read the Divine he uh, Physician because I think that's you. Um, what's under the Divine Physician? Uriel and the, and the Sphinx. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, Uriel and the Sphinx, again, it's about get, getting a greater spiritual knowledge, um, ancestral, like, um, earthy knowledge. Um, right, let's read the Divine Physician then. Um, and then I'm going to go make myself more coffee, I think. Um, the Divine Physician stands what before a well, carrying a jug of healing water. Now, very interesting because your sign, Aquarius, is uh, the water bearer. Um, and sharing his light of healing with those nearby. Upon his robe is the Kadakus, the emblem of medicine and healing. Called Diane Ket, C E C H T by the Celts, he made the mortally wounded rise again through his incantations of sacred words. Again, so it's healing through the words you speak, through communication, you're helping others. Um, this powerful eternal healing spirit walks with you at this time. This card indicates that you are moving into a time of mag magnificent healing on many levels. There's a person who can be a great healer for you, as well as a teacher who shares healing gifts uh, that you can pass on to others if you don't know this person yet keep your eyes open he or she is coming you may also find yourself you may also find yourself being called to help others at, the, at this time remember that word and thought belief and feeling are key component components in healing the self and in teaching others to heal they are important in the divine physician's medical bag, uh, so make sure they are part of yours too. Know that the light of healing shines around you and through you. Such a radiant joy can bring well-being to all. That is beautiful. That is so gorgeous. Um, sixes as well are about, um, like the Six of Cups, it's about um, equal give and take, uh, nostalgia for the past. Um, so I feel like what you're doing is you're you're healing uh, wounds from the past um, and it's also healing to you to do this. So as you heal, you have the ability to communicate uh, your thoughts and feelings about this with others who can uh, resonate with that and also, um, you know, help them to heal their wounding as well. Um, you know, life wounds us. Uh, we come into the world as children who are just open and eager and um, fearless um, and gradually the things that happen to us over time, they kind of break us, um, break break that spirit down a little bit and get us into uh, those boxes, right? Those easily stacked boxes that fit neatly into society. Uh, but that means we lose a part of ourselves. Seagulls? um perhaps perhaps you just need a vacation <laughs> do you want to go to the beach um so yeah i feel like um as you heal yourself you have this gift where you're able to communicate this uh with others and it helps them to heal as well so aquarius you're such a beautiful energy <laughs> such a beautiful energy um 
I just, I, I don't have anything else to say. It's gorgeous. Uh, right. Um, use your pain because your pain is a tool to heal and heal others. Um, and I think you're learning that lesson. Um, I don't have anything else to say, Aquarius. I hope that reading was helpful to you. Uh, leave me a like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends. If you've got Aquarius friends and you think, oh my God, that is spot on. Oh, um, talking about sharing videos. Um, I watched Awakening to Spirit. Awakening to Spirit. She's called Cindy. So she's like my future self, I feel. Um, but she um, is so funny. I watch her videos um, after I upload mine. And it's like she's saying the same thing. Um, <laughs> It's like she picks up on the exact same things. I've made salsa this week. I've, I've been eating salsa all this week because I made it. And I'm like, I've been... So salsa is a big deal for me this week. And in her Libra reading, she was like, salsa. <laughs> it's so funny the way she's like, she, we're so on the same page. But yeah, I remember watching Aquarius's reading. Um, I think it was this week. So it could have been the week before. But go and watch it. Very similar message. Um, and I remember thinking, yeah, that is spot on. That is like, that is the exact Aquarius energy that I know and love. So um, go and watch that if you are craving more. Um, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you. It's just been Thanksgiving. So thank you for being being here especially if you've made it to the end of the video i really do appreciate you spending this time with me and supporting my channel and i'm gonna go okay take care aquarius bye bye